Hey everyone, my name is Daniel Christian and in this video I'm actually going to do a deep dive of adding responsive design to Power Apps. Um, so you definitely, if you follow me on Twitter, you know that I was going to make this uh, deep dive video and here it is. Uh, but what I'm doing in this video is actually giving you more of an introduction. Um, if you want to skip this introduction, that's fine. Just go down to the description of the YouTube. You'll see the link to my friends at Waylo. Um, on their website, there's actually a blog which is written by me. Uh, there's also a really deep dive video uh, which actually walks you through how I built this responsive design. Uh, and it's really deep because I've focused um, not only on building the app, but I'm focused on the main four things the X coordinate, the Y coordinate, the width and the height and how to go ahead and use this new responsive design feature which is available in Power Apps. Um, so if you want to stop right now and jump over to the Velo website, good, go ahead and do that. Uh, but if you want to stick around for a while and at least just see the intro video that I have, hey, stand by and just uh, let me get stop talking over here in the intro. Let me just jump in and demo the, uh, the app itself. Okay. So right now we are in Power Apps uh, and on the website, and I'm going to on Power Apps Studio. Uh, I'm going to click on Play because on the Play side, um, we'll actually go ahead and kick off the app. So now when the app is opening up, um, what's actually happening is thanks to the responsive design, it's going to completely take over the width and the height of this um, uh, browser, which is running on my laptop. Um, and for the sake of this demo, uh, what I've done is I've actually added a few things here and there. Um, two things. One thing is on the top left, you see that it's actually telling me what is the width of this design, which in this case is a desktop. It tells me what the height is specifically for this app. It also tells me this little section over here, which is basically what I want to know is what is the height of each and every one of these controls, which is in the label control or the text control, this other drop down controls. But that's what I want to do is, you know, kind of say that this is the height. Um, but thanks to the responsive design, now check out, uh, once I go ahead and now start, you know, doing these things, it automatically adapts to what is the width and the height that I've actually provided over here. Um, and yeah, you know, the numbers itself will prove that to you because look, the width is changed, the height has changed, and so has the height and if each and every control over here. But this is a fully functional app. So, you know, just to tell you that this actually, this is a fully functional app and this is not smoke and mirrors. If I go ahead and just type in Daniel Christian and I type in an email address yeah, over here, um, state, let's put in North Carolina because that's where I am from. Based on what state I selected, it automatically goes ahead and changes the uh, city. Same thing, let me create a manuf select a manufacturer. Based on the manufacturer, it changes to a device. Um, and then, see, the device actually um, image shows up over here too. And now, it is completely responsive because I'm able to go ahead and keep changing. See the height and the width changes. Each and every of these controls over here, their height also changes. And it's very responsive. So, once again, this is just an intro video. If this is, you know, definitely caught your attention, Go downstairs, I mean, go and click on the description um, and then click on the link that I have in the description. It'll automatically take you to uh, my friends at Velo and their website and it has a blog over there. The blog walks you through everything. I mean, it walks you through building the, the fresh canvas from scratch, uh, shows you how to focus on those four main things like I mentioned, the X coordinates, the Y coordinates, the width and the height. And it kind of helps you to see that, hey, I provided you all the formulas, but then here's how I break down Here's how I calculated, you know, each of the um, the height of all of these uh, controls over here. So hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, I know there was a big demand for this video, so I've gone ahead and created for that. And as always, keep power apping. Thanks.